right? 22. Uh, this looks similar to our, our previous tricholemal or pilar cyst. Yeah, it sure does. Out here, the lining is perfect for, it's getting into focus here, perfect uh, keratinocytes that are glassy, direct abrupt transition into dense keratin. So pilar cyst or tricholemal cyst. And this one has what going on in the middle? Like some ossification. Yeah, you've got calcification here, the purple stuff, which you often see in pilar cysts. And occasionally you can actually see metaplastic bone formation, which is what we have here. How do you tell them apart? Well, calcium is kind of just fragmented and chunky purple stuff. Bone is actually going to be made not just of calcium, but calcium and collagen. Osteoid is type 1 collagen that gets um, calcium added on top of it and mineralized. But what you get is in actual bone, you'll have little lacunar spaces with osteocyte nuclei residing in them. So if you see the little space with a, with a cell in the middle of it, that's how you tell it's actually bone, not just calcium. That's the way to tell apart, say, osteoma cutis, which is bone, from calcinosis cutis, which is just calcified debris. I feel like a lot of times uh, people struggle with that, and that's the way to tell them apart. Obviously, it doesn't usually matter. And sometimes if the bone has been here long enough, it'll actually start to organize and become like mature bone, and you'll actually see like concentric lamellar bone lines, which is kind of cool. And the other thing to always think of when you see bone and calcification and keratin debris is to think of a pilomatrixoma. Pilomatrixoma often has um, ossification and calcification because uh, it usually ruptures and creates a dramatic uh, stromal response. But here we've got the nice uh, pilar cyst lining. So this is a pilar cyst or trichelemal cyst with metaplastic bone formation and calcification. Really nice example.